It is a beautiful spring day in Ohio, and this is New Bike Ride Day. Hey, this is my buddy Matt's brand new, I think it's a 2023 Trek uh, Rail 9.9 XX1. This is the top of the line. I appreciate me, Matt Let me take it for a spin. Uh, I'm on my little trails. They're kind of soft today, so just doing, taking a quick spin, getting some initial impressions. I've got a Trek Rail... 9.7, 9.8. Anyhow, it's the previous gen, Gen 2, 625 watt hour battery. This is 750. This is the all new, stiffer, stronger frame. It's got a little bit of different geometry in terms of the layout, a little bigger, beefier up through here. And uh, this one, because it's a top of the line model, it's got the AirWiz uh, Rock Shock uh, Ultimate, Deluxe Ultimate Select on the rear, the Zeb Ultimate Fork up front, and they're tracking the pressures. It's got the uh, uh, tire whiz on there, so we got tire pressure checks, full carbon wheels on the thing. Man, it it's got the the highest end of everything. Their best carbon, but I really wanted to try this bike because it's got that new kind of a little bit more stuff out here, a little more in the front of the bike to be able to package the 750 watt hour battery. It might be about a pound or two heavier than my Trek Rail uh, Gen 2 97. I have an XL in that. This is a large. This one has. I believe 487 mils reach in the low position, maybe 491 in the regular higher position. It's in the low boy now, but I think the stem's only 45. I think the stem on mine's 50, so I could get a little bit more extension, but essentially a large is very similar to the old XR, XL, and I like the pro line bars. I just think this fit is, is really good. I'm 6'2", uh, six, 190 pounds, so this also has all the automated click shifter there's no cables it's so clean up here and it has this software so you can go in and tune it you can dial in the settings that you want on the turbo the flow the Bosch uh, flow software on the phone so I've gone in and I dialed up the turbo response uh, just to kind of liven it up a little bit make it a little more jumpy and you can dial it up or back you can turn down the torque it's giving you so it's got a and you can do that in the eco and the turbo modes or you can just use their their smart mode EMTB which honestly works really really well this is a performance CX Bosch so it's 85 Newton meters um, you know it's funny Sometimes I hear a little bit more noise on it, but this one is very quiet today in terms of that gear rattle. It's actually a very good one. So maybe maybe Bosch has made some improvements to it. But boy, the, the Zeb suspension, it works so good on this. I love the Rock Shock. That ultimate fork is super comfy. And honestly, even though this bike is technically heavier than mine, maybe by a pound or two, it does not feel it, even with that big 750 watt hour battery. I think the carbon wheels and maybe the geometry, but boy, it's, it's light, light feeling. So now I'm gonna do a little quick hill climb test here. This is a tricky test. I don't know if I can make it. It's kind of muddy and slippery, but oh, we made it. That's not bad. That's my that's my motor torque test on this little loop I have. It's kind of fun to see how the motors pull there. But that's starting right at the bottom. I'm not even getting a run. But again, I I dialed up the torque response in turbo mode for this thing. Man, I've I have used electronic shifters on road bikes but I've never used them on a mountain bike and man in some ways it's gonna be tough to go back this feels like I'm I'm driving a little sports car just like a PDK you're just pushing buttons whoops you're just putting buttons to shift now this is where it's nice taking off I have the the torque setting so it's a Gives it a nice big jump whenever you first get on the pedal. So, but just as a quick initial ride compared to my my Rail 9.8, the old gen, this thing having 750 watt hour battery, I don't have to mess with charging. You don't have to worry about. It. You got so much capacity, and honestly, 
So I'm a bigger guy. I kind of like how there's a little bit more of this, uh, a little more frame and everything up front here. I think the back is basically the same, 448 chain stays, chain height and everything. And the bike feels a little bit more beefy overall too. Of course, it's got the heavier duty forks and that and the, these bars are nice. They're so comfy. They got a lot of give to them. So I really enjoy it. It's top of the line. You can tell when you ride it, but it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we can do some back-to-backs with my uh, with my other rail and uh, soon and get this thing out to Horns Hill too. But for now, two big thumbs up.